Here we are, guys. It's the day. So, Hollywood Reporter has an exclusive. Hollywood Reporter, as you guys know, they follow GBK. They've been really good. I don't know too many examples of them getting stuff wrong. I'm not too aware of it. And with all the teasers stuff, it's finally here. So, I'm going to quickly read this article from Hollywood Reporter and go over my thoughts about everything. And, whew, oh my. Here we go, boys. Oh, it's such a happy day. Such a happy day that I can finally talk about this. Ah, but let's go on. So, again, I'm just reading this article real quick just to give context. So, you guys, please go support the article yourself. I'll link it in the description below. Please, guys, go support it. Give them your click stuff. Don't just do me. Like, seriously, go support them, too. Uh, I just have it up on screen to read it myself real quick, and I'm just going to quickly go over it uh, and break down, give my thoughts. So you go support the people that wrote this. Um, but the title that is floating around at Legendary right now is Son of Kong. Again, this comes from Hollywood Reporter. They've been really good so far. Um, it wasn't the, m the most encouraging start. Just as Legendary Godzilla vs. Kong was beginning post-production in 2019, the company's Godzilla King of the Monsters opened and underperformed. The movie, which cost it $170 million to make, grossed only $386 million, earned um, middling reviews, 42% of Rotten Tomatoes, giving King of the Monsters less than stellar. Legendary inserts have viewed Godzilla vs. Kong as perhaps the end of the current version of the franchise. Even as executives believe they have saved the best for last, but then Godzilla vs. Kong opened the movie, which bowed... Uh, state stateside March uh, 31st to 31.6 million has crossed 400 million globally, and that's going up a lot. They think it's going to get close to 500 million by the end. Just thought I'd throw that in there. It's the top grossing Hollywood produced movie released since the pandemic uh, appended the movie business and has yet uh, to open in multiple larger markets, among them the UK, Brazil, Japan. Uh, it also marks the second best performance in the four monsterverse movies trailing only kong to island uh 2017 tally of 55 million or 566 million my bad um now instead of winding down the franchise godzilla vs kong may ramp it up the reporter has learned that legendary is quietly taking steps to stretch the series into one or more franchise installments uh Entering early talks with Kong vs. Godzilla's director, I don't know why it's so God, Kong vs. Godzilla, Adam Wingard to return in, for another round of Monster on Monster action. If the deal if a deal closes, Wingard would be the first Helmer to return to the Monster Fold since Godzilla kicked off the legendary partnership with Japan's Toho in 2014 with fifty with five hundred and twenty four million global gross. As of now, there is no timeable known for the project as Wingard has become popular among studios. Warner Bros., for example, chased an Atlanta director for a live-action feature based on Saturday morning cartoon Thundercats and a face-off sequel at Paramount's uh, also beckons, and there is no known writer attached to the new MonsterVerse installment either. However, Wingard is said to have been very involved in creating Godzilla vs. Kong set pieces as well as uh, world building of the movie's Hollow Earth plotline, and he and Legendary have been cooking up plenty of ideas already. In fact, one possible title floating around internally is Son of Kong. So, that's, yeah, guys, there, wow. Now, I would be shocked if you guys don't know what Son of Kong is, but there you go. This is, this is Kiko. He's from the original Son of Kong. It's a movie from 1933. It was a rush sequel. I'm just going to be honest. I've watched it recently uh, to the original King Kong, 33. And Kiko was a member of Kong species, the son of King Kong, who was born. He was young, he was still growing, and he lived on Skull Island uh, whenever uh, Jack, not Jack, oh my god, oh, I forget the character's name, wow, I feel so bad right now, I love, I loved him in that movie, like, I loved him in both the original movies, but the, the director guy, uh, maybe he'll pop up in my head, but he went to the island with a crew, and... Yeah, he met Kiko, which was an albino uh, Kong uh, who was growing. He fights a big bear in the movie, uh, which was pretty cool. There's some other creatures. Again, the film itself wasn't that good. It ends with Kiko sacrificing himself as Skull Island sinked into the ocean. And Kiko basically saved uh, the director, and they all escaped because Kiko drowned it, saving everyone. And if you guys haven't seen it, I mean, I, you can check it out if you want to. Um... It's very lighthearted, you know, it's very fun, it's kind of like a kid's movie, but beyond that, it's not that good. But to go off that, 
I would love to see Kiko return. Uh, Kiko is someone I think would be awesome to see return. And if this is true that they're going this Son of Kong route, I'm interested in how they're going to do it. Because it's been a huge thing in lore that there is no other Kongs alive. But then again, the original Kong 2, I mean... Wasn't, wasn't there also, I, it's been a while since I've seen it, it's been a minute, but wasn't there also a bunch of lore and stuff that Kong was the only one in that? I mean, these movies, they'll just probably wreck on it, or they'll be like, whoa, there's more in the whole Earth, or it's possible too that maybe they find a similar species, because it got confirmed uh, earlier today that Doug is actually a subspecies or cousin to Godzilla. So it's completely possible there's some more subspecies down there, and Kong meets an albino, uh, sort of member of a species, and they have Kiko. I think it'd be awesome to introduce Kiko. I think you could do a lot with Kiko. Kiko would be awesome with a return. Um, we'll see how this goes. But with that, too, I also want to mention the article. They talk about how there's multiple installments coming. I'm pretty sure that also means Godzilla 3. We'll have to see what Adam Wingard is doing. They're just discussing Son of Kong at the moment. That seems to be the next movie is Son of Kong. It seems pretty... Obvious now they're getting ready to do a Son of Kong movie, and I'm excited for it. It's not what I was expecting for a Kong movie. I actually was not expecting a Kong movie at any point soon, but it looks like he will be possibly finding more members of a species and having a kid. That's going to be very interesting. I'm curious how they're going to pull this off, and I hope they do it well. Best of luck to them. Continue the MossVerse, guys. It's worked. Here it comes, guys. We're about to get more movies. You guys excited for the continuation of the MonsterVerse? We have the Skull Island anime coming up, Son of Kong, it seems, and probably another Godzilla. Again, I mean, this isn't confirmed by Legendary themselves, but it's I'm pretty damn certain, and I'm, I'm expecting more reports about it as the night goes on. But I hope everyone has a great night. I'll put the article link in the description below. Go support it. Go click it and read it and stuff for yourself. But everyone has a great day, and as always, peace out, and bye bye